All right, we are back with another Tom McDonald reaction. This time, his new song, Superman. Why is there a nuke behind him? Yeah, there's definitely a warhead back there. Don't blow that up. A little rocket thing. Unlock my phone and watch the world die. They cry into God while they run for their lives. Blood in the streets, bombs in the sky. Goodbye. I hope you had dreams come true. I hope they see in their crosshairs what I see in you. And I hope and I pray that's all I can do. I don't understand who is good or bad. They don't care as long as you got oil sands. We need something fast. We need something bad. More than guns and tanks, where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? I turn on the news and watch the world fight. Thousands of men. All right, all right, I'm going to pause before he gets too far into the second verse. Yeah, holy cow, this is... Uh... This is very different from Tom McDonald's fair, usually, and more especially his recent fair. Oh, well, yeah, both from a like a thematic standpoint as well as a musical standpoint. Yes. Right? This is... Yeah. This is, like, more something I would expect from, like, Ed Sheeran <laughs> or something. Like, yeah. This yeah. kind of feel, you know? I, I will say my one, my one first criticism is he's not actually playing that guitar. Um, and it's killing me every time I look at his hands doing this... And if he were even strumming at the right pattern, he would be dum dicka dicka dum dicka dicka dum, and he's just doing this. He's not playing that guitar, and that's killing me to look at. Um, but if you haven't spent like at least a year learning how to play guitar, then you probably wouldn't recognize that he's not actually playing it. Um, my favorite line in there was, "I hope that they see through their crosshairs what I saw in you." Yeah, I thought that was really good. I like this this theme that he's portraying here right and this is something that i found that tom mcdonald talks about in a lot of kind of different ways and from different angles yeah this, about yeah angles this concept that like we're all people and like yeah we have different ideas and politics and stuff like that but we're all people and we should start from that point not start from like oh you're a liberal or you're a conservative or you're a christian or you're an atheist like we should start from the like we're people and where is the level of, like, decency and respect and goodness that we show as people? Because, yeah, it's like this whole everything, you know, like we fight over territory, we fight over resources, like we're just animals, you know. But songs like this and other songs and people are, have been trying to tell us, like, maybe we're more than that. I was actually, this morning I had the, the killer song, like, Are We Human? Mm -hmm. Or Dancer. The song's called Dancer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, playing in my head. Anyway, it's like that. It's like that. Are we human or are we a dancer? Are we more than that? And can we be? The, I really like the chorus, Oh, where is Superman? And I like it because he. you can take it a couple of ways. You can be like, oh, we need a Superman to come save us at this point. Everything's falling apart. I like to think of it a little bit more abstractly. Like, all right, here's the politicians we have arrayed in front of us. Mm -hmm. Where's the one who's actually, like, good? Hmm. Where where is the Superman that can actually like take us out of this? Because right now we don't seem to have that. We have a lot of flawed mortal beings, and when I say flawed, I mean like obviously flawed. The vast right. majority of them have obvious flaws that need to be overcome. But maybe that's a requirement to begin with because we're all heavily flawed beings. And I was kind of taking it like almost like you hear these like songs or these people like crying like where is God. Like, where is God in all of this? Like, we just need we just need God to come down and, and save us, right? But it's it's just, like, a different take on that. And maybe it's, like, where is, like, divinity or where is this, like, superpower? Or maybe it's, like, where are the supermen among us? Like, wh like what is it? Where is that source or that, that power that, like, we can just make the right choice and have the power to change things without just wrecking shot? Of course, Superman, obviously, you know, he destroys He's down sometimes, too, in his... Yeah. You know, big battles. So, 
I think we'll get more clarity as we go further into this into what yeah. specifically he's talking about, but I do like to think about the different things he could be thinking about because you can learn separate lessons right. from different interpretations. I turn on the news and watch the world fight Thousands of men making widows of wives I'll be home soon, walked off in the night Goodbye, I will remember you I know it should be shot in their man just like you But I hope and I pray Cause that's all I can do I don't understand who is good or bad They don't care as long as you got oil sands We need something fast, we need something bad More than guns and tanks Where is Superman, oh where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? This is so interesting. It's like seeing a totally different side of Tom yeah. in this song. No, I, I was like, uh, it got me a little bit emotional me during, too. during that verse, and I thought, like, I was like, am I, am I actually going to cry during a Tom McDonald song today? Yeah. Um, that line about like men going out and making widows of wives and like thousands i'll be right men. back turning into you know i'll be home soon then saying goodbye i mean it's just this is the reality right like not everywhere i live in a very peaceful area <laughs> like yeah. we i'm very blessed to live you too you live in the super peaceful area yeah it was like it was like shooting in the streets near my house like a while ago. Not not at your house. Years ago. But we live yeah. in like a super peaceful place. And we're really blessed to have neighbors who would like care for you and like do good things. If they saw your kids like run out in the street, they, they would go out and get them and bring them back home, you know? Yeah. And, but like a lot of people don't have that experience. You know, we see stuff like all over the world, just all these different wars and all these different scenarios where people are going to like fight other people for reasons and maybe yeah, the reasons are the good or bad but i love the way he beautiful. portrayed it though he's not trying to pronounce like one side is good one side is right. bad he says i understand that it should or be shot but man i just don't understand why it's got to be like that yeah he knows that both sides most of the people fighting are not like the people who have made the decisions i uh who did i hear say this recently they were quoting someone else but they said war War is a bunch of old young men going to fight each other in the names of old men who will never fight each other. Hmm. And it's it's so disturbing to know that most of the people are convinced of something or defending something that they feel is right. And a lot of them are probably begrudgingly doing what they're doing, yeah. but it's shoot or be shot. Like, once the war is going, good luck. But yeah, it's like... But like, and so Chase and I, we had a, we had a, pol a podcast that was pretty relevant to like politics and stuff like that. And yeah. part of our podcast was we talked to a lot of different people, like from, we talked to pro-gun people and anti-gun people and like all these different types of groups. And one of the things that we found is that everybody felt like essentially the same. Like they felt like the other side didn't want to talk to them. They felt like they wanted to reach out, but were scared to. And they felt like there was just a wall of communication there. But that wall, that barrier between people was totally made up. Because we talked to people on both sides and they were like, I would love to talk to people on the other side. I would love to like have somebody who disagrees with me on my show or this and that. Everybody said that that we talked to. Every single person. Nobody said like, yeah, I don't want, I don't want that. I don't want to like talk with people that maybe think differently from me. But everybody thought that the other people thought that. We're made to believe things that just aren't true. And we're made to like treat people in these ways based on these false beliefs. And so we need to really look at the real world, not just the news and like what the world's trying to tell us or like, you know, the internet and stuff. Like look out and see like what are people actually like? What are you actually like? Because you're a person and most people are just like you. And like if if I learn nothing else from our podcast, it's that like everybody is mostly the same. Yeah. And this. Soon you won't need 
need a TV or an iPhone to see because you will look out the window and boom. I don't understand who is good or bad. They don't care as long as you got oil sands. We need something fast. We need something bad. More than guns and tanks. Where is Superman? Oh. Where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? So simply made, but poignant. I I really liked the way he uh, he portrayed that last verse, where it wasn't. Soon you're not going to need a TV, you're not going to need a phone, because you look out your window, and then the, the cool production on the boom, yeah, boom. that was nice. Yeah. But uh, Braveheart, you seen the movie Braveheart? Yes. Yep. He refuses to go join the war until the war comes to him. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm staying out of this, yep. I want nothing to do with this, until it comes to him. Look at the U.S. in World War II, I'm staying out of this, we want nothing to do with this until it comes knocking at our door in Hawaii. I'm not saying we need to go to war. I'm actually saying the opposite. What I'm saying is more people need to speak out against the war. Mm -hmm. Publicly. Make it known to the people who claim to represent us that we don't want the wars. We don't want to be part of it. We don't want to send our brothers and sisters and children out into the war zones to, you know, say, don't worry, I'll be back soon, and then say goodbye and not come back. We don't want that. No one in the world wants that. I take that back. There are people that do. It's naive to say there are none. Most regular folks don't want that. But what we need to say to them all is that we, the vast majority, who are mostly just trying to make it through each and every day on our own to be good to the people around us, we don't want that. That's what we need. Yeah. Just like he said, like, I don't know who's good and bad. Like, I don't know, like, how, who's my enemy and who's, it's like, no, because, like, we're all people, you know? Like, a lot of times, like, we just feel like, oh, I can't keep up with, like, who's supposed to be the bad guy now? It's like, well, neither can the bad guy because they're not the bad guy to them, you know? Like, we're all just trying to figure out our way, and the more we can talk and the more we can communicate and the more we can express and empathize and understand each other, the better off I think we're going to be. So I really liked the song. I thought it was super well done. I like the tone. I like the simplicity. And I like the clarity and the poignant message of the lyrics. I'm giving this one a gold star. This one, I'm recommending this song to everybody. It was fantastic. It was a great song. Uh, I haven't gotten emotional in a, a song in a while, but uh, that was a good one. That was a good one. We've, been, we've been avoiding all the emotional songs because you guys are always like pushing the emotional songs on us. <laughs> but it's also been, I don't know if I've ever been like emotional to a Tom McDonald song. I think he really knocked it out of the park. And it's been a while since I've had one that I thought Tom really, really did well. Yeah, so this is really solid stuff. If you guys are still here, we appreciate it if you would subscribe. And that way you can be here on the next one too. And if you like this video, hitting the button helps more people be able to see it. And we certainly appreciate that. Check out this button. chaseandrem.com uh, if you want to subscribe for some more exclusive content where we have some videos there that we don't have right here on YouTube. And we will see you guys later. Thanks so much.